According to an announcement from the Republic of China, Taiwan Ministry of National Defense, MND, published by CNA on October 9, 2024, the Taiwanese military will begin transitioning to the new T-112 combat rifles next year. With plans to acquire 86,114 units, this upgrade marks a significant step forward in modernizing the country's defense capabilities. The T-112 rifle introduces numerous improvements over the current T-91 rifle, enhancing accuracy, ergonomics, and overall durability. One of the standout features of the T-112 is its enhanced shooting accuracy. At a range of 100 meters, the rifle boasts a dispersion area of just 9.8 centimeters, compared to the T-91's 14 centimeters. This precision has been described as shrinking the accuracy range from the size of a hand to the size of a palm, significantly improving marksmanship in combat. The T-112 maintains the 5.56 mm caliber of the T-91, ensuring compatibility with the military's existing ammunition supplies. The T-112's design is ambidextrous, featuring dual-sided charging handles, which greatly improves operational flexibility, particularly in close-quarters battle CQB scenarios. Several ergonomic enhancements, such as a redesigned near 90-degree trigger, improved grip angle, and a deflector behind the ejection port to direct spent cartridges away from the shooter, make the rifle easier to handle under various conditions. Durability is another key upgrade. The T-112 uses a more robust composite magazine, replacing the aluminum version of the T-91. This reduces the risk of magazine deformation during impact and ensures smoother loading. Additionally, the rifle's polygonal thickened barrel increases the effective range from 400 to 600 meters and extends the barrel's lifespan from 6,000 to 10,000 rounds. The T-112 is designed to meet the diverse needs of modern combat. Its aluminum alloy handguard is equipped with tactical rails, allowing soldiers to attach various accessories like optics, grips, and other enhancements to tailor the weapon to specific mission requirements. Furthermore, the rifle offers multiple firing modes, semi-automatic, two-round burst, and fully automatic. Notably, the change from the T-91's three-round burst to a two-round burst in the T-112 was influenced by U.S. military studies, which found that the third shot often lacked accuracy, leading to wasted ammunition. The two-round burst provides a more efficient balance of rapid-fire capability and control. The rifle also supports different sling configurations, with a quick detach, QD, system for rapid release, allowing soldiers to switch between two-point or single-point slings, depending on operational needs. Customizable colors and camouflage patterns further improve the rifle's ability to blend into different combat environments, enhancing concealment for troops. The MND has announced that the deployment of the T-112 rifles will begin in 2025, with the rifles being distributed to the Army, military police, and other units. The process is expected to continue through 2029. Along with the rifles, optical sights and red dot sights will be provided based on unit requirements, further enhancing the weapon's precision and functionality. With its improved accuracy, durability, and versatility, the T-112 is set to become a critical asset for the Republic of China Armed Forces, helping to ensure that the military remains well-equipped for the challenges of modern warfare. The planned upgrades represent Taiwan's commitment to advancing its defense capabilities and staying competitive on the global stage.